channel. If you're new here, my name is Denise and I go by Long Legs K. If you're returning, thank you so much. Get these watch hours up. Thank you. Throughout this video, I'm essentially just going to go through a detailed tutorial on how to bleach your knots, how to pluck your hairline, and how to glue on your install. I didn't really film myself doing the style because I basically just kept the body wave and added a few wand curls to the top of the units, but that's about it. That is literally all I did. Let's get started. All right, y'all, let's get started. So I got this wig from Amazon. This is what it came in. It did not come in a box. Nothing. Ooh, okay. This is from the brand Rose Sister. And I will link it in the description. Came with the wig cap. It has two of them in there. And it's tan. I like this color. Um, came with the wig band. I love these because they really help melt that lace. I love a good pink. <clears throat> Maybe this is for the wig band in the back of the wig. I don't know. The moment we've all been waiting for. This is a 26 inch human hair body wave. It claims to be pre plus. It's a 13 by 6 frontal. Hair aromatherapy tablet. Oh, I guess this is supposed to help it not smell like. It smells like weed. <laughs> but I'm looking at the color. Okay, I'm feeling the hair. It's soft. It's soft. Okay. I'm not seeing any shedding yet. This is what the frontal looks like. 13 by 6. We comb in the back. And on the sides, I usually tuck that into my wig cap. And really going to have to do is bleach the knots because as you can see, the knots need to be bleached. When you are bleaching <laughs> the knots, you want to bleach the actual knot of the hair that's being tied onto the lace. I'm going to use a tongue depressor. 20 cream developer. I like 20 because it's not as harsh as like the higher numbers, 30, 40. So it's harder to make a mistake, but it takes a little longer to bleach with 20. Always remember your gloves, okay? Do not use these chemicals without gloves. I have this bleach, which I'm running out of, so I picked this one up as well. They're both by Clara. I take some foil. Bleaching the knots can be a little daunting because a lot of times I even mess up and get a lot of the hair mixed in with the bleach. So you want to make sure that your mixture is very thick, but also good enough to actually bleach these knots without seeping into the actual hair. So that it protects the, this hair from the bleach. And then flip it so that I'm only seeing the lace. If a couple hairs get bleach, put some concealer or put some mascara on it. I'm gonna need y'all not to judge me. I can't find my like mixing bowl, so I'm gonna use this. Whatever is left in here, which is not that much. I'm going to add a little bit more bleach from here. So I really want it to be thick. All right, I'm going to use a little bit of developer, and I'm going to mix it in a little bit at a time because sometimes it can get a little too watery, and I don't want that. I'm going to take my tongue depressor or popsicle stick and just mix that. 
and just keep adding until you get a thick consistency. The consistency and thickness of, let's say, a Dairy Queen blizzard. Not dripping, not flipping, okay? But you do want to mix that very well. Because the back is a lot thicker than the front, I'm going to start with the back first so that I don't over bleach the front. This is why I keep it in a bag, y'all see? Do y'all see now why I keep the rest of the hair in a bag? Yeah. I typically use like a brush, but I've seen other creators use the tongue depressor and I feel like it's a lot more smoother and I feel like sometimes with the brush that comes in those like bleaching or coloring kits, it seeps in because of the bristles. Here I am, just checking. It's been five minutes and I can see some of the knots are getting a little brassy, which is great. That means that the knots are bleaching. To tone it, I do have the Shimmering Light shampoo, like purple shampoo basically for blonde and silver hair. I use this on my hair. I don't have a haircut right now, I don't. So that's why we've been wigging it up but i'm going to use this to i'm also going to wash the hair and condition it as well just to you know if there is any scent it's not it didn't really stink but just so it smells good i really like the shampoo i will link these two in my amazon six months ago wow that's so how does it go <laughs> i think we will turn off timer all right let's get the washing You definitely want to wash the hair to make sure that all that bleach comes off. While conditioning the unit, I saw that the knots weren't bleached as I would like. So I'm going to go in for a second round. And this time I'm going to leave the bleach on for only about like 5 to 10 minutes. I do think the second time did a way better job. Oh yeah, that's so much better. Yeah. So much better. The hair's been behaving, so... But when it gets to styling, that's when you really, that's when you can tell if it's a good deal or not. Yeah, I'm getting tired. I'm getting old. Jeez. I see why these hairstylists be charging these prices. Ooh. Let's start plucking. I'm going to put a paper towel over it just to protect the mannequin and to really see these knots when I'm plucking them. I'm going to take a rat tail comb and just... Push this hair back, pushing it out of the way so I can see where I'm plucking. Going in sections, I'm going to take the front of the hairline, push this back. So there are different ways you could pluck. Either you can pluck going this way or going this way. I'm going to pluck going this way because I'm trying to pluck this part. And you really want to take the hairs from the root to get rid of that. You see? I hope I didn't put a hole in it. <laughs> and get the plug in. I plucked it very like randomly because when it's too uniform, 
it's definitely going to give Jacob from Twilight, and we don't want that. So, next, we are going to blow dry. I'm going to do that off camera because there's no special technique to that. And then we're going to style. I actually went in after I blow dried it to pluck a little bit more to make that hairline less dense. So now let's go and style. How these influencers to get all these angles? Lord. I'm gonna put some mousse on the hair, mostly the hairline to pull that hair back. So that when I do install it, there's no like random hairs in my face. I saw another creator do that. I was like, oh. So I feel like when you use the spray, it makes the hair really tacky and like. You know, I don't want my frontal to look like that. If you talk about my hair, you're anti-black. Anyway, I'm gonna take an alcohol swab and then just go across my hairline, like where I'm gonna be putting the glue. So I just don't want any like oil from earlier after moist moisturizing my face or like anything on there. So. Taking the wig cap, that makes sense. gonna pull it down past my ear so I want the flaps to stay down like these flaps right here also gonna take the tongue depressor or popsicle stick and put it where I don't want the spray to go going along that hairline and pressing it into where I need it to go I'm gonna take my fan and just let it dry down with the popsicle stick on top of it to make sure it really stays down. I'm gonna cut a hole in the ears. While that's drying, I'm going to take a powder, but it's not going to be my contour or bronzer shade. When I use the bronzer or contour shade, it gives the wig lace a line of demarcation. So I've stopped doing that. Putting, putting without a mirror in your face. I film with my back camera or I film with like a digital camera and I'm not using my digital camera right now because my mic came, but the input part for the mic is too big, so I have to get like an adapter. Oh, and it's stuck, but it's there. But it's there. That's all that matters. Alcohol wipe and go over any of the dried residue from the got to be and the powder that I put on my face. Right, now I'm going to measure where I want to glue this. I haven't tinted this yet. Hold your horses. Let's see if I can't even bring it this far down. Don't want it to look like just wig on forehead. I'm gonna take another wig cap and just tuck this top wig cap <laughs> into the wig cap. Again, with the inside, I'm gonna tint it with a powder because I said it's too dark when I use. My contour and it gives that lace just that demarcation and it's not okay. let's see how we're looking how we look in I'm gonna take the ghost bond XL and a tongue depressor I'm going to put small layers multiple layers to keep this glued in You want the layers to dry in between reapplying clear before you go in with another layer or applying your wig. That's how you get all that residue. It's, it's not fun. So wait for it to dry. Layers that you put in depend on how long you want to keep the wig on. So it's Saturday. I want this to at least stay on till maybe Monday. Um, so I'm going to put on three layers. This is layer number two, just waiting for it to get tacky. And we're going to go in with our final I'm just going to pull it down and make sure that I don't press it down until I make, like I am 
totally 100% sure that's where I want the wig to lay. So. I'm gonna have to cut this side a little bit more so it can fit around my ear, but that is okay if you're customizing it to I'm just you. gonna make sure it is really sitting on top of where that glue was. Because if you have it all the way lower or you have it too high, what's the point? Is it just me or I don't like the way like makeup or sticky things feel in my hands? Unless. But other than that, no. I will just like press the hot comb down. I'm gonna cut sections. This also gives more mobility to move it out of my face. I'm gonna take this hot comb and just push these hairs back. Go on that hairline. But be careful. I don't want you to hurt yourself. Ooh, like I just did. It was too bad. Anyway, I like to go like Use my nose, the middle of my nose, to be the indicator of where my middle part should be. I'm going to cut it now, and then I'm going to add the Lace Melt Spray, which is different than the adhesive, okay? This is melting the lace, that is securing the lace. When you're cutting the lace, you wanna do it kind of like in a zigzag motion. You don't want to just go straight across because then it's not, the lace is just not gonna blend well with your skin. Going like up and down. This is what it's giving before makeup. I'll be back. We did it, y'all. We turned that $80 wig into this. Into this. So let me just get right into it. Cons. I wish the density was a little bit more. It is 180% density. I wish it was a little bit fuller. I wish there was a little bit more volume. A little more va 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 voom. You feel me? <laughs> Also the lace. I wish it was a little bit more tan instead of that grayish color because it was a little bit difficult to disguise, but we were able to do it. If you get a little bit close though, you might see some <laughs> jagged edges and I ain't talking about the group. And you might see some lace. It is what it is. It just means you're too close. You're the problem actually. You're the one who needs to back up. Yeah, let's get into the pros of the unit. I love the texture of the hair. It is very silky. I don't know how long it's going to last like that, but I do have something to revive wigs. Maybe I'll show you one day. <laughs> I like the color of the unit. It's It doesn't seem like it was dyed crazy because when I was washing it, it didn't have a lot of you know different colors coming out of it. Um, I do believe this is a true 26 inch because I am 5'9", and if this is going past my bosom area, which is a, a high hill to climb, it's good. <laughs> uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? The unit takes heat very well, so I was able to do the wand. I was able to hot comb it, and it didn't sizzle or fry up. So it possibly is 100% human hair, but you never know. You never know. For $80, I definitely feel like this is a steal, run, jump, hike, whatever you have to do to get this unit, go get it. It's going to be linked in the description of this video. Just click the description. Y'all be asking me questions. And it's in the description. It's always going to be in the description. Thank you so much for watching. And if you made it all the way to the end, you're a trooper. You're a survivor. I'm a survivor. I'm a survivor. I'm a survivor. And if you found this useful or helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, and I will see you all soon.